Hi, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Rachel. I'm so glad you found me. Welcome to my doll shop. So I was going to film something completely different this morning and as I was wrestling around here in the back, it's the morning here, I picked up my <laughs> wonderful brew doll and let me know if this has happened to you. When it happens, it is so, do you notice something that's, do you notice anything that's missing? her eyes fell out. It's not a big deal, but when it happens, it can be so off-putting because you pick up your doll and then the eyes fall out and then it's like, at first you wonder, did something worse happen? Uh, of course, I looked to see if the eyes had broke and they did not, they cleanly fell out. <laughs> they look crazy like that, but that's what they look like when they're out of the head. There it is right there. And this is this is an antique 1880s French bisque doll, very rare, and I picked her up and the eyes fell out. Thank goodness she was sitting in my crib and the eyes just fell out inside the head. This is why you always have to be careful when you pick up antique dolls is because things can happen and if you're standing and if these eyes had fallen down, then they would have broken. This is gonna be an easy fix, but Yikes. Let's go get it checked out from our in-house doll doctor here at the doll shop. She actually doesn't know I'm coming. So, oh, she said I hear, she said I hear her. <laughs> Hi, Linda, good morning. Good morning. I know you're so busy working on every other thing we have here, but I made a boo-boo. You did? Yes. So I picked up our wonderful oh. Jumeau. Oh, well, that's no big deal. That's, that's what I thought. I thought it's no big deal, but I thought why not? Because this happens to everybody at some point or another, right? Uh-huh. Why not film it so we can see what the heck is going on? So luckily I was, they just fell back in her head. They're not broken. And what's the good, what's the good here? What's the good? Yes. It didn't break the head. Yeah, exactly. And a lot of times that's the reason why we, when we travel, we'll stuff the head even if it's... Always. Always. stuff your head. I think you should stuff the head even... When it's just sitting. I agree. Yep. Especially if they're heavy paperweights because they will break they your can. head. They can. Well, and the eyes can break. True. But usually it's the head. Yeah. So, what we're going to do is... I don't know whether we can put them back in. Sometimes. I know. Well, yeah. <laughs> there you go. So what do we do? Well, I would probably just... Get your little hat. Just, I'm going to rough this up with a blade. Glue it. I'll put some glue on here and let it dry. Okay. That way it has something to stick to and then I'll just go in and reposition them and put them in. If that didn't work, if they had broke completely, I would have to re-soak them. Soak them, just put them in a glass of water and get these eyes out and then just reset them. So, so I, this is an easy job. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, there's all there's all kinds of levels when it comes to resetting eyes, but I just thought it would be it would be good to show because it happens to the best of us. It happens. Let's show them the bottle of the grip because we've been using that at our shop for many years. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, that was good. So you put it on the top and on the bottom, and then on the eye. Well. Where I scraped it. 
That's a phone ringing? Do you hear it? Yeah. <laughs> Must be yours. Yeah. Oops. Oh, That's yeah. weird. Positioned. Okay. That part's always a little nerve wracking, isn't it? Just to, I guess not for you, but oh, and so the glue's coming out of the socket. Mm -hmm. No problem. Linda had to go get some Q-tips and now she's, so is this typical where the glue kind of comes out? It does. I mean, even that's why you put wax in your, um, you know, we set them with wax. And that sometimes helps the plaster from not coming through if there's a little bit of a gap. And sometimes there is. I don't care. And of course, we can use glass cleaner when we. To get the excess glue off? Mm hmm. If they need to be cleaned. It, you know. The dolls, even sitting in your cabinet with the doors shut, will get dirty. It's amazing. It's just like your china. But it's so much easier to get it now. And just keep working with it. And you notice my fingers never left the back side of this plaster. Right. I'm yes. still pushing on it. Because it takes about, honestly, five minutes to do it. And then I will put paper back there. And I will also lay her face down on the towel for a little bit. Till I know this, this is really dry. While the doll's drying, I just thought it might be a great opportunity to chat a little bit about doll repair and the different avenues and things you can do. So on our YouTube channel, we have a lot of different, I would call them beginner level doll repair things to, to learn. Basics from cleaning to restringing to uh, sewing, all kinds of all kinds of basic what I would consider doll maintenance. So stuff that just happens to all dolls. There's certain things that happen to all dolls, like the stringing gets loose or gets brittle or gets bad or the eyes fall out or they get very, very dirty. And these are all little cosmetic things that you can do at home using ingredients that are very inexpensive that you can find at most just usual grocery stores or, or hardware supply stores and get a lot of things done. So on my YouTube channel, just type in in the search doll repair and you'll find a lot of different things. Now, if you have higher level things, that's where you're gonna wanna consult and have a professional do it. We are not doll doctors. We don't for, for outside uh, repairs, mainly because we have I have so much doll repair here that we can't take in outside work because I have enough for Linda for the next 500 years. But the, there are doll doctors who do it and they're really, really good. So I hope that this was helpful. We're gonna check in and see our doll uh, and put her back in the crib and see what she feels like after she got her eyes back in. She'll be able to see again, which will be so nice. So I, I just love sharing and thank you so much for tuning in. We turned on the chandelier. It helped the lighting a little bit. I actually have lights everywhere, but it's amazing. This is a, this is a pretty old building and you have to have tons of lights for things to show up. But I thought while we're waiting for our doll to set, why don't we go a little, uh, do a little off-roading and check out what's in the crib. I think what is in the crib could be dedicated to a whole video. The entire crib could be dedicated to a video. But let's just go peek in over the edge and see what's in there. 
it just will not be complete without our brew, but she'll be, she'll be ready soon. First thing I noticed is this little Gibson girl that's kind of peeking out right there, which is pretty funny. This really cute stork. I don't really know the whole story, but hopefully we'll get it someday. He is just amazing and so perfect for a little crib right there, isn't he? So let's just kind of peek over the edge. Sometimes I rearrange them a little bit and do different things, but I think we'll do a whole video on everything that's inside here. I think that would be really fun. That would be really fun, wouldn't it? Hello, sweet girl. But it's a pretty large crib. This was my crib when I was a child. And it is just amazing. It's very large. I remember pulling on the handlebars and being inside of it. But let's get up so you can kind of kind of see it. Okay, before I walk away, I have to do a little housekeeping because our sweet little googly here, I need to take I need to take her off the stand. But this is an Oscar hit googly, one of my mom's favorites. The trousseau for the googly is at home, but I'll bring it here. He, she has a whole little trousseau of wonderful clothes. Let's see if I can get her eyes open so you can see her. There she is. Hello, sweet girl. Let's get her to stand up. There she is. There. All right, let's go check on Linda. She's almost done. Oh, get your hand. Oh, doesn't she look sweet? She's getting there. She's getting there. She's almost there. She's okay. almost there. This is a sweet FG that Linda's been working on. How's our... Oh, she's finished. Can the blind see? Oh, she's ready? She's ready. Hey, girl. You feeling better? She should. <laughs> yeah. She can see. I'm so glad you fixed her. Okay. She's going back in the crib. Good. <laughs> That's where they go when they're not going anywhere. Yeah. Okay, she's back in action and feeling a lot better. Let's get her into her place. Kind of have to step, step lightly over here. Okay. All right. There you go. There you go, sweet girl. You feel better? Did Linda get y'all fixed up? Let's get her little eyes. She's got other clothes. I might, I might switch them out, but really do love the red. If you love red clothes on dolls, let me know. Hi, mom. As always, thank you so much for tuning in. We appreciate you so much. Please like and share this video if you enjoyed it and enjoy our content. That helps us get out there and lets us know that you like this kind of thing. Be sure to subscribe on YouTube because we love having you on all of our videos. We have so many adventures coming this year and we will see you very soon. Bye everybody.